What's going on guys, John Elder here from CodingMe.com and in this video, we're going to start to build out our user dashboard for our app with Flask and Python. I guess like I said, in this video, we're going to look at the user dashboard. But before we get started, if you like this video and want to see more like it, be sure to smash the like button below, subscribe to the channel, give me a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm, and check out CodingMe.com where I have dozens of courses with hundreds of videos that teach you to code. Use coupon code YouTube one to get $30 off membership. It's all my courses, videos, and books for one time fee at just $49, which is insanely cheap. Okay, so in the last video, we added the ability to log in. In this video, we want to start to build out our user dashboard. So you see, we've got our name listed. We've got some information. We got a little page here. We can log in. We can log out with this button here. We do that. It goes back here. We can log back in. Heads back to the dashboard and that's cool. We're also gonna play around with the nav bar. So you can see up here it says log out. If we log out, it changes back to log in. So I'll show you how to change things on the nav bar based on whether or not you're logged in or not. And that's what we're gonna look at in this video. So let's head back over to our code. I'm using the Sublime Text Editor and the Git Bash Terminal as always. And as always, you can find a link to the code in the pinned comment section below, as well as a link to the playlist with all the other Flask videos in the series. So check that out if you haven't so far. So first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come up here to templates and find our nav bar. Let's go ahead and open that. And if we look through here, we see this login button. So we only want this login button to appear if we haven't logged in. If we've already logged in, we don't need that link to appear up there. We need a log out link to appear instead. So how do we do that? Well, in the last video, when we set up Flask login, it comes with all kinds of cool things. One of the things is a little sort of helper that can determine whether or not a person is logged in because Flask login is keeping track of the user session and all that stuff. And so it's very easy to determine whether or not a person is logged in. So all we have to do is let's just do some Jinja here. And let's create an if statement. And let's say if current underscore user dot is underscore authenticated. And that's all it is. We're calling this little is authenticated function. We're saying, hey, is the current user authenticated? And the current user, Flask, is keeping track of that when we logged in, also through Flask login. So Okay, that's cool. And now we can come down here and let's just say end if. Now we also want an else. So let's go else and let's take this out and put this in here, tab it over. So if the current user is logged in, if they are authenticated, we want them to then be able to log out. So instead of having log in, let's change this to log out and let's change this function to log out. So if they're currently logged in, give them the logout link, else give them the login link, right? So pretty simple. And you remember this logout function, we worked on that in the last video. If you didn't see that video, check it out. Uh, there's a link in the playlist in the comment section below, but you can come down here and you can see this is the logout function. So we can call that and that's all there is to that. So that looks good. Let's go ahead and save this, head back over here and hit reload. And now it says log in. So also I'll mention, remember we worked on the dashboard in the last video. If we try to go to the dashboard, it redirects us back to the login page because we haven't logged in yet. So let's go ahead and log in. Let's see, password one, two, three is my password. And submit, boom, login successful. And now up here, we've got a logout link. We've also got one down there. So we can log back out. We can log back in, all the good things. Password one, two, three, and uh, pretty cool. So just that easy. Now we also might want to not have this add user link here, right? So if you're logged in, you've already got a user, you've already registered. In fact, instead of calling this add user, let's call this register. So let's head back real quick and go to the nav bar. And right here, let's turn this to register. Save this, head back over here. Okay, so that looks a little better. But also, like I said, we don't want that to show up if we've already logged in because we've already registered. We don't want to register again, right? So I'm going to grab this whole link and let's put it right here in our else statement, right? So this will only show up if we're not logged in. So let's test that out, head back over here, hit reload. All right, so that disappeared. Now, if we log out, boom, it's back. There's our register link. There's our login link. Okay, log back in here. So that's looking good. Anything else we want to do right now? Well, oh, we've got this user profile link. We're going to sort of get rid of that and move this all into our, let's say, dashboard link. So now we probably want a link to this dashboard up here in our nav bar if we're logged in. So let's go ahead and make that real quick. So if the current user is authenticated, let's just copy this guy. 
And instead of logout, let's say dashboard. And let's change this to dashboard. Okay, so save this, head back over here, hit reload. Okay, so now we can do this. Now eventually we're gonna wanna change this add blog post to only show up in if you're logged in, so we'll mess with that later. Uh, for now, this is looking good. So, okay, we've got this dashboard page. Let's start to sort of customize it a little bit and add user information. How do we do that? Well, let's head over here to our templates slash dashboard, and here's this file. And I'm gonna change this to an H2 to make it a little smaller. So it says here, you're logged in, click here to log out. Let's come down here and create some line breaks. And now let's add stuff from our model. So if we head back over here to our hello.py file and look at our user model, come down here, here's our user's model. We have an ID, a username, a name, email, favorite color, date added, and a password hash. And we can access all of these things now using Flask login. It sort of connects to our user model and we can now access these things. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six things. Let's come over here and one, two, three, four, five, six. So this one will be name. This one will be username. This one will be user ID. What else we have? Email, favorite color, and date added. So here, let's go email favorite color, and let's say date joined. So now how do we access this information? Well, we can just call current underscore user dot whatever. So name, for instance. All right, so let's go ahead and copy this. And let me just paste it in here for all of these things. And then we'll, oh, this is sloppy looking. <laughs> okay, so that's really hard to read. So let's maybe put these on separate lines. There we go. Clean this up a little bit. Bear with me. Okay, so this one's name. This one's gonna be probably username. The ID is gonna be ID. Current user, the email is gonna be email. Favorite color is favorite underscore color. And date joined, I think is, well, I don't remember, let's see it's gonna be date added. So I'm just grabbing these things right here, right? So name is name, email is email, favorite color is favorite color, date added is date added. So it's just current user dot date added, for instance. So, okay, let's go ahead and save this, head back over here, reload, see what that looks like. Boom, now we've got our name, username, user ID, email address, favorite color, and the date joined. So, cool, we've got all this stuff. So. That's pretty much all we need for a dashboard. Now it's just a matter of kind of making it look a little prettier. So let's head over to Get Bootstrap real quick, go to the docs, come down here to components, and let's find, I don't know, let's see, a card maybe. So if we look through here, what well, looks good? Here's one with a header and footer, header and footer. I don't know, let's just grab this guy right here. So I'm gonna copy this, head back over to our code, and I don't think we really need that. Get rid of one of these line breaks. And let's just paste this guy in. So normally we would have to wrap all of this stuff in the same thing that we did here. So we need this guy right here, right? Normally we would. Because we don't want people stumbling onto this page if they're not logged in and then having all this stuff throw errors because there is no current user. The thing is though, we don't need that here because you can only access this page if you're logged in. If you're not logged in, it redirects you back to the login page. So there'll never be a circumstance where somebody that's not logged in can see this page. So that means we don't need this if statement to make sure that you're logged in, right? So we can just leave that right off. So let me grab this guy and let's come up here to this bootstrap card and let's play around with this. So here, instead of featured, let's have the name. So let's save this back over here, see what that looks like. All right, so name right there, that's pretty cool. And let's change this to log out. So come down here to this button. We've already got a log out link, so I can just copy this URL right there. Now we can get rid of this log out link. And instead of saying go somewhere, let's say, you know, log out. And this is a BTN, BTN dash primary button. I'm gonna make this a secondary so that it's gray colored. I'm also gonna make it a BTN dash small to make it a little bit smaller. So let's go ahead and save that, come back, hit reload. Boom, now it's a little smaller and it's gray, that looks good. So special title treatment, let's put a little message here or something. 
like, um, I don't know what, welcome to your user dashboard. Dot, dot, dot. I don't know, just playing around at this point because it's kind of fun, <laughs> right? And now we could put this stuff right here. So I'm just gonna come back here and copy all of this stuff. Don't need that. And copy it. And up here inside of this little P tag here, just for now, I'm just gonna paste that stuff in, save it, come back over here, hit reload. Boom, we have a user dashboard. All right, looking pretty good. Now we can log out. And remember, up here at the top, there's no longer a link to the dashboard. And like I was saying, if we try to just go to the dashboard, boom, it redirects us back to the login page. So that looks cool. If we log back in again, boom, back to the dashboard. Okay, so this is a very generic little dashboard thing that we're starting to build. We'll play with this in the future and make it look nicer and add more features and functionality and all kinds of cool stuff from the dashboard. We'll add the ability to make a blog post from here and see your blog post. And we'll also add the ability to edit all of this stuff in here. So. That'd be good. And also to delete your account if you want to. We'll add all this stuff in the future. In this video, I just want to sort of get the ball rolling and start to build out this dashboard, start to build out some functionality up here on the nav bar to where it only shows certain links if we're logged in or logged out. And I think we did a pretty good job with that. And uh, yeah, pretty good. So that's all for this video. If you liked it, be sure to smash the like button below, subscribe to the channel, give me a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm, and check out codemy.com where you can use coupon code DZ1 to get $30 off memberships. You pay just $49 to access all my courses, over 47 courses, hundreds of videos, and the PDFs of all my best selling coding books. Join over 150,000 students learn to code just like you. My name is John Elder from codemy.com, and I'll see you in the next video.